Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Emma Marie, and my channel is all about perfume reviews, either in sprays, oils, atars, and then of course, Baku. And then for those that want to go a little step further, there's definitely a DIY playlist on my channel, and I highly recommend you check it out. If you want to learn to do some DIY projects, like how to refill an empty perfume bottle, how to turn a perfume oil into a spray, and so forth. So definitely hop over there and check it out. So this video is going to be about this particular company here that I stumbled on on Etsy. And the first thing that came to my mind as I'm refilling these into spray vials, that way it's easier for me to show you guys and to test them, is wow. Bombtastic isn't even the word for this company. It's beyond that. But... The brand is called For the Scent of It. If you're a little leery, guys, go ahead, try a sample pack. Promise you are going to love these. Love, love, love. Like, this has to be probably my favorite brand that I have bought off of Etsy so far. As far as the quality of, you can smell high quality ingredients in it. Um, they're not, like, soft. They're medium to, some of them are a bit beastly. So, there's that again. So, the first one that I have sprayed is called Creme de Bergamot. Now, I do like the scent. Oh, God, gosh. Guys, the title is so little. But it's called Creme de Bergamot. And he's only had a couple sales. But once people start figuring out this brand... I just see it, like, skyrocketing. This is good. Um, he did tell me that he started off with fragrance oils and then started to work with um, high-quality products. I feel like this individual, as well as the smell, he may actually just be a natural perfumist, and he never knew it. Um, because I smell like a natural talent in there. Okay, so, I have not yet, the one bergamot that comes to my mind that I really, really love is Le Labo uh, Bergamot 22. This creme de bergamot is what I would have loved that one to smell like. So, when I say that his fragrances kind of smell similar to what we already have on mainstream as far as the notes go... He takes it a step further and he has made it like even better than what is already on the market. So this one is definitely a creamy bergamot. It smells amazing. Definitely, definitely a spring summer scent. But the bergamot is so bright in here. And it's so, so pretty. That I would say creme de bergamot be summertime but this one this one's good this is definitely one I would love to have in the big bottle again the big bottle sell for $62 which is well worth what you're getting in it and these are well blended these are exceptionally good I'm sure there's more than just this creamy bergamot to it but that's the most dominant note in there and it's absolutely amazing Whereas with Le Labo's Bergamot 22, it's just a straight bergamot. It's very bright, but this one has a creamy element to it. So, highly recommend that one. Of course, guys, that's why I say go with the sample because what I smell, I may absolutely love. And then what you smell, you may dislike. But I'm, I'm positive you guys are going to love this one. They're well blended. They're high quality products. I could feel the oils on my fingers when I was transferring them into the spray. And that's the CO2 products. The next one in line, guys. Oh, this is the first one I did. Ooh, I don't know what's in this one. I don't know the notes right off the top of my head, but wow. This one's called Nearly New. Let me see if I can get up there because the writing is really little.
This smells so good. Now this one does smell kind of feminine. But we're going to go ahead and spray it on my little tester here. Y'all ain't trying to waste this. Mm-mm. This is good. Oh no, it got on my table. <laughs> now I'm trying to think if this smells anything as far as vibe-wise with something that I've smelt as far as... Every one of them seems to hit like some high-end niche brand. And these aren't replicas, guys. These are his own creation. And... Um, he just, he's a natural at it. Either he realizes it or not. He's very much a natural at this. This one's very pretty. I can't tell you what I'm smelling in it without the notes, but I absolutely love Nearly New. To me, this smells almost like something that, um, be like Christian Dior's, like, you know, private line. It's that type of quality, and it has that type of vibe to it. It is feminine, in my opinion. But I'm sure over time, once it settles down and it's now transitioning into its middle and base notes, I'll be able to tell you more if it's more of a unisex scent or it still leans feminine. I need to spray it again. There we go. This, But I absolutely love this nearly new. So we're going to put that one down. I can smell it in the air. It smells so pretty. The next one. Oh my goodness. Like, I have never found such a powerful. But it's not like overly done, guys, where it's like too much. Um, but this one is called Forsaken Peony, and this is one of the ones that, before I even bought the sample, I was just going to buy this in the bottle. I should have bought it in the bottle. Um, again, it's called Forsaken Peony. If you love peony, this is the first peony scent I've ever smelled that's finally strong enough where you can actually enjoy it. Like, when you walk past somebody, you're going to know that's peony. Um, I do have like one or two peony scents in my perfume bottle collection but they've always the one thing that i've been disappointed in is the peony's not very strong oh this the peony is the star of the show in this one and if y'all don't know peony is the indiana state flower oh my whoo i got to get this one in the bottle this is so gorgeous what do i get from this um God, this. Okay, now it's uh, settling down. The peony is like right there. It's so pretty. It's very... Uh, guys, this one's another feminine one. But don't worry. I've got a couple of them here for you gentlemen. Definitely the creme bergamot, bergamot would be something for a guy girl. The nearly new uh, seem to be more feminine. The masculine... But even then, it's still one of those ones for gentlemen that like a little bit of that femininity. That one would be a good one. This Forsaken uh, Peony is definitely feminine. But hey, if you want to rock um, some peony scent, then it's for all. Love it, love it, love it. Um, have been dying to have a peony like that. Like, I could get rid of all the peony scents I have in my collection. That one would replace it. The next one is definitely, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's called Tobacco Pod. Now, if you're a big fan of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanelli or you just like those tobacco scents, you are going to love this one. Yes. And it's a very clean, that you, it's very clean. The notes are very crisp. They're very prominent. It's well blended. Um, that's the best way to explain his collection. Um, you start getting some of these collections like from other designers or niche. Um, some you start smelling like a synthetic note in it. Some of them it's just, it's too sharp. It, the notes don't clash together properly. These are, these are good. They go well together. Oh God. It 
So, oh. This is good. This is such a smooth leather. Yes. Now, why did I say smooth leather? Smooth tobacco. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sitting here looking at uh, one of my Dua bottles and it's distracting me. But yes, this one reminds me of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanelli, but not really. Like, it's different. But that's where the quality sits with these. So if you like that premium high quality, you're going to like his fragrances. And only $62 a bottle, guys. I would get it now before he becomes, like, super, like, popular and everybody wants his stuff. It's a very nice tobacco vanilla scent. I hear that my husband is starting to wake up, so I'm going to have him smell these in the dry down and get his opinion on them. So we have one more left. This one was the one that was a like for me, and it's because I've never smelt a note like this before, and it could end up being a love now that I'm smelling it the second time, but it's called Forbidden Fig. Oh, good. This one is like the fig tree in it. So it took me a minute to go, whoa. Fig is still kind of a new note that's becoming pretty popular in fragrances. Um, I think fig is more of a masculine note than a feminine note. But that's just me. But we're going to go ahead. Yes, it, it definitely has a masculine element to it, but it smells good for a forbidden fig. But this one's probably the most masculine one out of all of them. Ooh, it like makes my nose tickle. And when I smell these, the title suits them so well because he it's like forbidden fig. This is that fig that you just... It just smells to high heaven, but you know you're not allowed to touch it. You want it, but you can't have it. It's that type. But this one definitely smells masculine. Um, it's a beautiful fig smell, and it's I've, I've never really been able to zone in on a fig scent like this one has offered to me. Definitely for you gentlemen. And it's so unique. Um, but yeah, so there are the five samples that I got in. Again, the company's name is called for the scent of it. I think the sample pack was like 20 bucks guys. Um, I will put a promo code down below for those that just want to skip past the sample and go right to the bottle based off of my reaction or for those that would like to start with the sample. Either or, guys, this company is well worth trying, and you're probably going to have the same reaction I'm over here having right now. Again, the five fragrances that I have is Creme de Bergamot, definitely unisex. It's calmed down. It's still there. It's about a moderate scent. Um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, it's way better than even Le Labo's, uh, Bergamot 22. The next one is the nearly new, can't put my nose on it, smells something like what you would expect from a Christian Dior, Dior, um, private line scent. It's very feminine. Very pretty. This one is a little bit lighter than moderate now that it has settled down. Unless I'm smelling the wrong side. Very, very gorgeous. Love the opening on that one. The next one was the Forsaken Peony. Oh my goodness, guys. Y'all already know I love this one. This is the first uh, moderate to strong Peony I have ever smelt on the market. And it smells so good. It smells like a like it has a little bit of sweetness to it, maybe like a fruitiness with the peony, but it this smells good. 
This is one that I would say take one or two sprays and that's it. Girl's good. It's so, so pretty. And it's definitely a springy, summery scent. Uh, nearly new. I didn't tell you guys what season that would be best for. That one definitely smells like something that would be like year round. Because it's it smells like it's florally. Um, smells very classy, um, sophisticated a year-round fragrance whereas peony because it is the most dominant scent it would smell a little weird in fall and winter so spring summer on that one then we have the tobacco pod definitely fall winter fragrance um okay now that i'm smelling this this reminds me of one of the r ah uh, herman tom ford Tobacco vanilla, but it's just like better. If you love those type of fragrances, you're going to love this one because it's like even better. Um, I still have to say Tobacco Pod is a unisex scent because I do like like tobacco. Um, I'm getting that sweetness off of the tobacco. And it has like a little hint of vanilla. So the star in this one is more tobacco than vanilla. Whereas in Tom Ford's, I think it's more vanilla tobacco. So this one would be the opposite of it. And it's really good. Again, I'm going to call that one a unisex fragrance uh, for fall, winter. And then the last one again was Forbidden Fig. And it's definitely a Forbidden Fig. It's that fig that looks so luscious so juicy you want it but you just can't have it but it definitely and it smells like the whole fig tree is in here um which is a good thing for you gentlemen so it's it's calmed down it's strong like the forsaken peony so this is definitely a moderate to strong fragrance definitely a fall wintery type fragrance i wouldn't I mean, typically figs are done by the fall. But this one is probably the most masculine out of them all. It's really good. It has some greenness to it. It has some sweetness to it. Almost kind of like smell like almost like this earthiness to it. This is good. So there you have it, guys. There is my review on for the scent of it. Of course, guys, I still have the other two over here that he sent to me that have not yet been released on the market so i'm not going to talk about these ones until i get permission from him but i will tell you they are really good so i have a total of seven fragrances that um the perfumist's name is michael has created and i have been very impressed with them these have been Probably my favorite is buys off of Etsy as far as how well they're blended, the quality of the ingredients. Um, he made sure to pick them where they go well with it. Sometimes you get people where they pick a note and then they pick one that totally shouldn't be mixed together and it just does not go together. It causes like some kind of sharpness. So, yeah. So if anybody is interested in trying out the sample packs or you're wanting to pick up one of the fragrances based off of my review, I will, give me a minute guys, I need about an hour at the most, I will put the promo code down below in the comment description and I will also put the promo code in the comment section for you guys. That way you can just hop over to his Etsy page, check it out, place your order, and you can experience what I'm experiencing with these. So, which ones would I buy from this collection? Well, definitely Nearly New. I absolutely love that one. Ooh, this is this is really hard. Um, Forsaken Peony. Um, definitely the... Uh, well, I need to reduce some of my tobacco scents, but tobacco... Pod would be one that I would buy in the future once I'm done with, like, my Tom Ford and, and stuff like that. Um, and then the Crim Bergamot. Like I said, the Forbidden Fig was a little too masculine for me. But I definitely loved the other four. 
but the two that I would buy right away would be the Nearly New and the uh, Forsaken Peony because I don't have anything in my collection of that. I have a bottle of the Le Lobo Bergamot 22, so once I blow past that, this would definitely be the replacement for it, the Crema de Bergamot. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. Again, guys, give me an hour to at least upload the video, do what edits I need to do to it, and then, of course, add in the promo code into the description box and the comment section. That way you guys can find it. As, as for that, guys, you have an awesome day. And as always, guys, thanks for watching this video, and happy perfume shopping.